Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 39 is really a bear to draw. First of all, Euclid says, I want you to draw two equally sized triangles, A, B, C, and D, B, C. All right, now how do you do this? Well, first of all, you draw a triangle, A, B, C, and then you're going to duplicate this line over here, this line over here, and when you bring them together, you're going to form another triangle called D, B, C, and it's going to be equal in size to A, B, C. And then Euclid says, I'm going to prove that AD is parallel to BC. All right. Now he wants AD to be joined. That's what we do here. All right. And he says, if AD is not parallel to BC, we need to draw a line called AE, and we need it parallel to BC. And this is done by Euclid Book 1, Proposition Number 31. All right, then he goes on to say that if you draw this line, you're going to have triangle ABC equal in size to EBC, okay? And that's due to book one, proposition number 37. But we already said that triangle ABC is equal in size to DBC, and that would force triangle EBC to be the same size as DBC, which, of course, we know is impossible. Therefore, since ABC and DBC are equal in size, that will force line AD to be par parallel to BC. And thus ends our proof. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.